what I hear a lot is that there is no real religious exemption for vaccination in the mainstream media. I hear that no churches are standing up against vaccination. But that is really wrong when I talk to fellow believers of any denom denomination. Once they learn that much of the schedule contains aborted fetal cell tissue, they have a, a serious conscientious and religious objection to that. Um, also, uh, many families that I'm talking to today, as well as my own family, have children who have either suffered injury from vaccine previously, or they have other medical conditions um, that don't qualify under the stringent guidelines for medical exemption. So maybe they don't have cancer, uh, maybe they don't have leukemia, but they have severe neurological damage and they don't want to further that damage by giving additional shots. So the government... But no, seriously, the Constitution allows for the religious freedom. Um, these senators keep focusing on the medical exemption as a viable option for parents when in reality those medical exemptions are not being handed out. Many, many, many uh, medical professionals that do not recommend the full schedule for their patients don't feel comfortable writing a medical exemption and putting their medical license on the line for that medical exemption when the board itself will deny or possibly they'll get they'll receive retribution though they won't uh, be supported in their claim that this child doesn't um, has a sensitivity or is a uh, risk adverse and uh, those assessments aren't even being made so you know RFK Jr. he talked about the checks and balances having been removed and there really is nobody when your government wants to be the parent uh, that was stated in this hearing the government wants to be our parent and our medical doctor and tell us which choices that we should make for our child and, and not allowing any decision or any uh, choice left in there, then this is a scary, scary decision uh, to even contemplate for our country. It's such a small percentage. If herd immunity was working, we've already achieved it in California. Fixing something that isn't broken just shows that there's a pharmaceutical agenda behind this, and it's really not about uh, child health at all. Uh, what were you saying? Can you say what you said about the uh, Nuremberg again? Yeah, so asking me to administer uh, any kind of a medical product that has a known risk for death, a known risk for seizure. All shots carry a risk of death, and uh, they are already stated by our government to be unavoidably unsafe. And so to ask me to risk that for my child, and uh, my child might die to save another child, um, is against the Nuremberg Code. We. After World War II, they put in place these checks and balances so that, okay. Uh, 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 yeah, after, okay, after World War II, they put in these checks and balances so that this wouldn't happen again where humans were experimented on against their will, where uh, subjects were considered less worthy than others and there was uh, uninformed consent, coercion, um, to medical experimentation and we're treating our children like a, an experiment, a medical experiment by even in, even thinking about taking away the religious and philosophical obje objections to vaccination. We'd be accept accepting something that has a known risk of death, a known risk of seizure and I don't believe we can um, honestly as a society go on thinking it's okay to kill some children to save others. All children are, are important. Having a product that's deadly and trying to say that it's gonna prevent disease and that's an acceptable loss, I, I, I'm sorry, but that's just not a country that I wanna be in. Uh, is there anything you wanna say to other Californians and Americans out there who are on the fence? 
I really want to um, tell all, Amer uh, all California parents that you may be pro-vaccine, you may love the vaccine schedule as it is currently, but when you can't say no to one shot in the future, um, you're going to realize that you actually wanted to maintain that right to say no and, and maintain the right for a choice. Um, to think that government officials um, that are lining their pockets with pharmaceutical money are in any way being unbiased and, uh, and fair and scientifically sound by saying all shots are safe, the schedule is safe, uh, they're not looking out for the best interest of all children. If we take away these rights, just wait. The next thing will be the adult schedule. Um, we all need to be able to maintain the freedom of choice. And it's not about being anti-vaccination. Um, you can be pro-vaccination, and you still should support opposing this bill and standing up uh, to protect the future of all the Californians. And um, we really need to take a good hard look at who's, who's writing this bill and the people behind it.